Good morning. This is Mission Control Houston live from the International Space Station Flight Control Room where teams are monitoring the final approach of Northrop Grumman's Cygnus cargo vehicle, delivering about 8,200 pounds of research, crew supplies, and hardware to the International Space Station. Station Houston and 2 for Megan and Toma. Please confirm the Cygnus 250-meter hold for step 2 in 1.102. The view we're getting now is a view of what's called the RPOP, or a Rendezvous Proximity Operations Program, on a laptop in a workstation inside the cupola on board the International Space Station. This is the same view that Expedition 65 NASA flight engineer Megan MacArthur is seeing as she monitors. Station Houston and 2, Cygnus has resumed approach. Go for Cygnus PCS command checkout. Hold arm for step three in 1.102. Confirm the 30 meter hold and set up for capture per step six in 1.102. Station Houston and 2, Cygnus has resumed approach to the capture point. Monitor approach within 30 meters per step seven in 1.102. Crew is primed to issue a retreat if the primary range is less than six meters. And Cygnus has arrived at the capture point. Station Houston and two, go for Cygnus capture sequence. Step four in one decimal one one zero Cygnus capture. Begin monitoring the backaway cue card. So station on two, we're beginning our approach. Copy. Canada Arm 2 is now one meter away from capture. The Canada Arm 2 is now over the pin. Snares are closed, now waiting for that final stage of capture. And we have confirmed capture at 5.07 a.m. Central Time, 6.07 a.m. Eastern, as the International Space Station and Cygnus were flying 270 statute miles above southwest Portugal. Houston Station on Space to Ground 2, Cygnus capture is complete. You are go for Cygnus post-capture reconfig. Congratulations, and it's great to have Cygnus back at ISS. Thanks, Leslie. On behalf of the Expedition 65 crew, I'm pleased to bring the Cygnus spacecraft SS Ellison Onizuka aboard the International Space Station today. Our congratulations go out to the combined teams from Northrop Grumman and NASA for the mission successes so far. This mission enables groundbreaking research through which we hope to meet Colonel Onizuka's challenge to enable the next generation to look out from a higher plateau.